Hello Internet. In this video, I'll present a quick solution to the Code Wars Kata list filtering, this time in JavaScript. The instructions are in this kata you will create a function that takes a list of non-integer, excuse me, a list of non-negative integers and strings and returns a new list with the strings filtered out. Example, filter list 1, 2, string A, string B, equal 1, 2. I'm going to approach this using the filter array method from JavaScript. Um, I need to say return l.filter and I'll use function notation, function of element in the list, curly braces to say what's inside of the function, and the function will return um, type of element equals number. Close the curly brace, close the paren, and let's check that that actually works. Okay, and let's see, do I want to talk about why that works? I think it's hopefully pretty apparent from the co how, the, how this code is working, but I'll talk a little bit about it. We have a function that gets applied element by element. That function is compare the type of the element, and if it's a number, it returns true. And for each element that, that gets true, the element gets passed through. But if this elevates to false, or if this um, uh, accumulates, no, if this ends up as false, I don't know what words to use anymore. If this ends up as false, then it won't let that in element be in the new list that gets returned. Let's attempt this for real. And then let's take a look at the solutions. We have one that looks a lot like the one I just wrote, although we have V. I don't know why V is the one that's chosen. And um, I guess V again. I, v is popular for some reason. There's probably some convention here. Arrow notation, type of V equals number. What else do we have? another way of comparing that it's a number. Okay. I think that gets the point. Thanks for watching.